expected it to be cold today. It's six degrees. It's not cold. <laughs> Hello, it's been a cold week in Tokyo. Um, we've barely seen above six degrees and it's got down to minus three at night. And even though it looks really pretty, like always, uh, it's been pretty cold. And uh, because of that, I haven't really got out of the house very much this week. Um, so I don't have a lot of exciting Tokyo footage to share with you. Um, but I really have been kind of, this is a getting back to work sort of week for me. I've been down in the studio a lot um, and I've kind of made something, I guess you could vaguely call it a New Year's resolution, to just spend more time down here and bring as much of my work, even the non-creative work and email and whatever else, down in the studio because it's a really nice environment. Um, I've got fantastic sound down here um, and I want to just make it feel more and more like a, a creative womb, if you like, um, a safe place to do, uh, to dream and do all the stuff that I'm, I'm kind of trying to do. Now, uh, with these videos, one of my goals is to really try and show you uh, what I do during the week, to take you behind the scenes a little bit. And some of that involves just DIY, just fixing stuff. So I'm playing with with trying to get a look and a feel for not just things in the studio, but also things in the garage, some of the, the work and projects that I do around the house. So uh, this is me trying to set up a video. It looks a little bit like a, a Bosch sort of uh, endorsed, uh, Bosch don't endorse me by the way. Um, if they look watching, I'd love an endorsement. Now, seriously, Bosch don't endorse me, but it's funny the way once you start to set up some video, it almost becomes like you're doing an endorsement or doing an ad or something. But really, all I'm trying to do is show you one of the little small projects I had to do this week. Now, this little wooden cover is actually something that you use in Japanese cooking. Um, it's kind of like a lid, but it actually sits inside the frying pan rather than on top of it and the one that I bought was just marginally too big for the frying pan I had I think it was one of those Japanese product to French product kind of interfaces and I, I started sanding and then realized that actually I should probably use this little Japanese plane that I've I bought myself a small one to try and figure out how to use a Japanese plane and a plane was actually the perfect job to scrape away that millimeter or so that I needed to get this thing fitting properly. Now, I'm no expert in woodwork and I'm no, certainly no expert in Japanese tools, but I'm starting to learn a little bit how this thing works and I promised last week that I'd show you I'd show you it in action. So there it is and and I was actually then able to get the the lid to sit onto the frying pan properly. So this is just you can see a little bit how it sits into the frying pan. Uh, rather than just sitting on top of it. And my week is, my week's generally as much as I do fun stuff that everyone wants to see, the, the photography and the travel and some of the other things, there's an awful lot of just general uh, DIY that um, I've been doing for a long time, but I haven't really either shared on social media that much or on my blog. Um, and one of the things that I talked about last week was this little uh, Bluetooth amplifier that I'm making a wooden case for. So here you can see the Japanese um, wood plane, the block plane in action, taking some shavings as I prepare this thing uh, to be finished. And I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to show you the finished assembled box on this video, um, but it's not quite ready yet. I think you'll see that next week. Um, I'm waiting for the finish to dry. I'm going for a, a fairly traditional sort of oil and beeswax kind of finish. Um, you can see me applying that sort of here. I love the way wood comes up once you start to apply a finish to it. You know, you work and work and you plane and you sand and you seem to forget what the wood looks like and then suddenly you apply a little bit of finish um, whatever it is, whether you're working with oil or whether you're working with wax or whether you're working with varnish, and then suddenly the wood comes back to life. And here I'm applying a little bit of oil, and then there's going to be like a combination oil-wax that I'm going to use to finish this off. Um, once I do that, I'm going to need to then go out to Akihabara 
and buy um, some volume and tone knobs for the front of this. So uh, in one of the upcoming videos, you'll see me in Akihabara in Tokyo's electronic town, and I'll be walking around a few of the shops and hunting down some knobs and controls. So I got a few comments last week about the um, unboxing segment. So here's a couple of things that came in in the mail this week, um, all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, the first is just uh, really something for the kitchen. Now, I don't intend to turn this into a cooking program, even though this is the second uh, cooking-related snippet for this week's um, film. But this is just some nutmeg. Um, Amazon here in Japan is a fantastic source for cooking-related products. So I picked up some nutmeg that we ran out of during the Christmas season. The second one here, I'm unboxing something that came from... I want to say Indiegogo, but I don't remember whether it was an Indiegogo project or whether it was uh, one of the other um, artist support uh, programs. But this is the booklet that came along with Katie Tunstall's latest album. Uh, looks really, really nice. And I just love this era that we're in. It's, it's tough as nails for musicians to make a living, but being able to directly support the people you love is fantastic. And the last box here is something I've been has been on my to-buy list for a very long time. And this is um, whenever you get something from Akai or from one of the professional audio companies, it's always pretty exciting. So um, I almost bought this a couple of times last year. And it's really answering one of the problems that I have when I use sample libraries and sound libraries in audio, that when you play woodwind instruments on a keyboard, you can get pretty close but there are expression things that never quite sound sort of exactly right. And this thing that's coming out of the box here is an Iwi, which, um, which is a, basically it's a saxophone synthesizer. Uh, one of my friends got one of the original versions of these almost 20 years ago, and they cost as much as a car. But these days, this costs about as much as a, an expensive mouse or keyboard, I guess. Um, it plugs into your computer and you use it, instead of using a piano-style keyboard, you actually blow into this thing the way you would uh, a saxophone or a trumpet. So I'm, I'm unboxing it here, but it's a, it's a little bit of a complex piece of equipment and I'm kind of busy in January, so um, I've got a feeling that I'm going to have to sit down and, and read the manual and work this one out. And I, I don't know, I, I might not... I might not, as much as it hurts me, I might not even get to play it for a, for a couple of weeks. We'll have to see. But it is, a, it is a pretty piece of equipment, that's for sure. Yeah, okay, so I lied. I basically pulled it out of the box and went straight into the studio and plugged it in. Um, I had a little bit of trouble getting it to work. It's some false triggering. Um, there's a thumb control in the back of it that I'm not entirely sure how to work. I think it switches octaves, but I will have to read the manual. Um, but I'm really looking forward to using that thing. Another thing that uh, a few years ago I made uh, this big thing, which is really kind of a bit of a motto for me, don't complain, make art. And I made a, a small number of them. Um, I gave some away. I sold them. But I've been wanting to, to sort of beef up that project and do something else related to it. So I've started to um, draw some samples, some ideas around a, a future product. You can see me here using a Japanese Sumi brush. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet, but later in the year there'll be a new Don't Complain product. And I'm going to put it on my website. So anyway, that's that's it for this week. Um, this is all pretty new, so please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment, ask me a question, and if there's something random that you want me to, that you want to see from Tokyo, I I don't know, maybe I'll include it, maybe I won't. There's plenty of random in Tokyo, but I hope you'll uh, tune in for the next video. Thank you.